Ladies and gentlemen, happy Thanksgiving. So today I am going to start pulling the motor out of the A4 donor car to put the uh, TDI in. So probably gonna first take off the whole front um, subframe, crash bar, headlights, grill, all that, and then start pulling this thing out. So we'll see what kind of camera angles I can get you guys. Uh, probably not too much commentary, might just do a time lapse, but uh, y'all have to figure that out. Uh, when you watch this. So, enjoy. So, not a ton of progress today, but the front uh, cradle, cage, cross member, radiator, core support, whatever you want to call it, has been pulled uh, tomorrow. That's time to get this motor out of here and start swapping over some of the components like the oil pan, motor mounts, and things like that. It was definitely a pain to get this thing out. Um, thank you, German Engineering. I guess this whole project is kind of, you know, something that hasn't really been done before. So I'm expecting to definitely find some hangups once I start putting that other motor in here. I'm trying to get that all packaged in. Hopefully I don't have to cut the hood at all, but it's definitely getting a fender exit exhaust. So, all right, see you guys tomorrow. All right, we are back. It's another day. So... Here's the one nine that's going in there. I need to finish the timing, swap the oil pans and swap the pickup for the oil. Uh, I still have to rig up something for the throttle, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. Uh, the big thing is to just get this in the car, get it running and get it moving under its own power. And then uh, I'm gonna pull that other engine today, hopefully. I'll probably do that timing tomorrow or maybe later today, um, depending on how I feel about that. But the big thing is to just get this motor out while it's still uh, somewhat decent outside. So there's not too much more to go here. Basically just loosen up the motor mounts, uh, unbolt the exhaust, unbolt the bell housing, and then this thing should just kind of slip right out of here. Um, also thinking, I might pull the power steering pump. It might be easier to just bolt this one up to the other motor than actually try to hook this pump or these lines up to that other pump. But we'll see what happens there. So I'll try to get you all some footage of this thing actually coming out after I loosen up these bolts uh, to save you guys the pain of sitting around. And let's get cracking. All right, so it's just about time. That was absolutely horrible. There are two bolts at the bottom. That took me almost 45 minutes to get them both out uh, because of their placement and none of my tools could get a good grip on them. So you're doing like a quarter turn at a time. Not fun. So I'm gonna position you guys in uh, the best location that I can and pull this thing out. So, uh, all right, let's get it.
All right, so our motor mounts are out. I put a log under the transmission. Hopefully that should hold it. Now we just kind of do the uh, shuffle and see what's still attached. It's probably one of the uh, coolant lines. Oh, there we go. Um, yep, definitely is. So I'm gonna go undo that and I'll be right back. But we do have separation, so that's good. So it was that coolant hose, and then I had a few more electrical connectors, which I think I got one more. Nope. Yeah, they're all good. So that's officially getting yanked out. So in the whole process, I don't know if it was me or if this was done previously. No, yeah, it was definitely done previously. The uh, spacer adapter does have a little good crack in it, but that's okay. Uh, those are only like 20 bucks. So I'm gonna keep pulling this thing out and then uh, I'm going to try to see if this oil pan is compatible with the other, um, with the 1.9. If not, that's okay. I got one more stubborn connector, so I will be right back. All right, well, that about concludes this one for today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go to the junkyard, try to get some of the other components that I need, including an oil pan. And then I gotta swap a few more things over from one to the other, finish the timing on that one, and hopefully bolt this all together. Alrighty, catch you guys later. Peace.